Yo. 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 It's dead in this town. You know? It's crazy. Gotta shake things up. Yo. For real. Let's go. Quiet night. There is no sound. Who needs a light? With no fun around. Hey, all my truths. Hey, it's Miss True Red Ball. Good morning. Just coming with you with coming to you with the OOTD of the day. My baby, baby True got me dressed today, y'all. So she picked out the Superwoman t-shirt, jeans, and my pink flip-flops. Nothing too spectacular. Those are black. Yeah, pink, black, they the pink brand. Oh. Black flip-flops. <laughs> are you, okay. All right, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, True family. Hey, you guys, it's Mr. Redbone. Hey, hey now. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, or just comment, or just dislike, whichever. I don't mind. Um, it's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. I hope it's a beautiful day in yours. It is a little overcast today, humid. Um, as soon as I pulled my camera out, you guys, it fogged up, baby girl. Which you guys will probably have already seen by this point. She picked out my outfit of the day. She also dropped my camera. I said, please don't drop my camera when I handed it to her. And she dropped my shit. She dropped my camera, y'all. So I guess we should tell them the opposite. Like, just go ahead and drop my camera, you know? So that they won't drop your shit. Y'all know that for a fact. Just like when your mama said, if you don't find that other shoe, I'm gonna beat your ass. And then you can't find the shoe. And she come behind you, right behind you and find the shoe. Oh, you knew you was in trouble straight up y'all need a, some of my chronic for real today <laughs> but i y'all i got on my um superwoman shirt today baby girl did pick it out but it fits the occasion because um <laughs> daddy went to work with a smile on his face you know what i'm saying <laughs> hold on y'all It is hot. I'm trying not to drip it on me because every day I do get coffee on me. How y'all doing? I am so great, y'all. Um, think positive. Positive things will happen. Remember that. I believe in it. I do. It it it, it works amazingly. If you if if you believe in something y'all hard enough, um, I know some people don't believe in speaking what they want out because they they are afraid that it will jinx the situation but you know we all drum to our own beat my thing is i speak it in and, and it happens you know you gotta have faith when you speak it you gotta believe in it but i believe when you think positive positive things do happen it may be something minute but a blessing is a blessing you know you gotta pay attention to the signs a lot of us don't um, let's start off with the first five true family members to comment on yesterday's vlog. We know it was late, but that's okay. Better late than never. So, excuse me, y'all, this coffee. I need another, I need another hit, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yes. I agree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm waking up, y'all. It's coming with every sip, I'm telling you. I feel like I got, I'm just kind of eating something and I feel like it's in my teeth, y'all. Excuse me. I really, I'm a floss a hat, a holic, y'all. And if y'all didn't, fun fact about me, I love to floss. It's just so freaking satisfying. But anywho, back on track. So, I actually chose six. It was Mama Moya, Deanna Owens. Hey, boo boo, I miss you. Um, we have Stacy, Michelle, Cheryl Waz. Donna Small and Francois Vlogs. Good morning, beautiful ladies. I hope you guys are terrific this morning. I hope you woke up on the good side of the bed and not on the flow. You always can tell when somebody wake up on the flow, they in a badass mood. And not today, boo, because you know I'm not a secret. Um, Nisi, where you at, boo? Nisi World, where you at? Because I ain't seen no video drop or nothing. But to those six beautiful ladies, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um let's see content creators now these are content creators y'all what i've started doing is just when i'm sitting at that vanity i have a little piece of paper that i jot down my little notes on um 
So the content creators that I ran across this morning, <laughs> it was sassy, y'all. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm off. Like, I'm, like, I don't feel like my norm, I'm not in a normal routine. And I am really a creature of habit, believe it or not. But although, since I started the, my YouTube channel, you guys, I have become so freaking spontaneous. Um, and I love it, you know? Um, I don't really just, I am a homebody, but I can't say that when I'm at home, I'm just, you know, sitting, chilling. Um, we do a lot of stuff outside of the house, you know, or I'll go to our shop and sit up there with my husband I'll do some work on the computer, you know, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't really actually been in chill, chill mode except for the weekend that I took off. Um, let's see. So I call Jackie's View. Jackie View, welcome back, boo. You know, I know you getting adapted to this new job and all of that, but welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Y'all remember that, that show? What was that? Welcome back, Carter. What was the name of it, y'all? I'm telling my age, ain't I? Ain't I? Um, so welcome back, Jackie. Get back in the swing of things. And boo, I know your laptop down, so is mine, but you know, we, we, we make things happen regardless, you know? So slowly, but surely, get back in the, in the groove of things. Who else did I catch? I caught uh, Life of Stacey J. Stacey J um, is, yeah, go check out her channel too. She's a, um, she's a mom, a family vlogger, um, well, a vlogger, um, and her, her family is involved. So I caught some of her this morning. Um, who else? Mrs. BB, y'all. Don't, y'all been gonna fuck with Mrs. BB. Mrs. B was up in Adam. I don't know if this was out from last night, middle of the night, or this morning, but when a, when a woman's fed up, y'all, y'all better leave her alone in them comments. She is not having it. Mrs. BB says you better stop with this foolery, buffoonery, you know? Come on with the come on. Two tears in the bucket, fuck it. <laughs> I don't need no company, y'all. I crack myself the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Who else did I catch? Um, of course, I saw. Uh, I was watching Francois, Francois vlogs. Um, I did catch yesterday. I caught some of. I can't say that I've actually been on YouTube a lot. I have been editing and post and um, uploading videos. I know y'all. I know y'all see y'all girl was working yesterday. She was working in the midst of everything that's going on um, with family. I was putting in some work, you know. Yes, I was. I can't. I'm, I'm one of those type of people that I can't relax, if you know what I mean. Like, I never, I try to relax. Um, and the most I'm going to relax is when I'm asleep. But I'm one of those people that, that never can relax. I feel like it. The, the, the days are already, we already don't have enough hours in a day. So I try to squeeze in all I can, you know. Um, I checked out two new channels y'all um and y'all let me know if, well i checked out two new channels it was kendall's corner now if you don't want to be hungry if you don't want to be um slobbing salivating at the mouth or anything like that i wouldn't go over there because she be cooking her ass off y'all she she did a crab boil i'm ready for a crab boil i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and make it do what it do with the crab boil and i, I love doing it it's i do a really easy method of a crab boil I do. Y'all gonna have to check it out when I come up with that. I, I do. When I do a crab boil in my house, it's costly. There are seven or eight people at any time roaming my house, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to suck it up and you know get off them coins and go ahead and do it. Um. So yeah, she cooks her butt off, y'all. If y'all want to see some delicious, like she made nachos yesterday, and I think because of you. Kendall, I'm going to make me some nachos tonight for the fam. And it's easy peasy. You know, if you want a quick meal, I think nachos is the way to go. Tacos is the way to go. Just go ahead and dice up all the fixes. But my family is so boring, y'all. They don't like tomatoes. So they don't want tomatoes in anything. And the only reason the kids don't like tomatoes, y'all, is because daddy don't like tomatoes. Me, put everything on it. I'm eating it. Put everything on it. I I'll try anything once. It did facts <laughs> anything once <laughs> um who else y'all um vibrant peace is her name y'all now vibrant 
piece she just hit 1700 subscribers um but i think her videos get a lot of views she lives in her in her car and she she's a i want to say she she looks to be like maybe her maybe her 20s just hitting her 20s but the girl personality is amazing she's um very outgoing but she lives in her car y'all do y'all know that i have i have a fixation with wanting to live in a rv wanting to um transform a bus into a home i really do um my my dream is really when our kids are grown and out of the out of our home is to us to buy a luxury a luxury rv and actually live in it i want to travel and what's the best traveling and you can move around the you can just drive anywhere you want to go and your home is with you i'm serious about that um i have been really curious about this for the longest but with kids you know um school i don't want it to be that hard i don't want it to be that difficult with trying to worry about kids and all of that and homeschooling i'm not that kind i'm sorry y'all i'm not that kind of mama I'm the kind of mama that needs that away time from their kids. I do. I, I Work is the vacation. Coming home is the job. It is. So I don't want to be cramped in the RV with all my kids and the grandkid roaming the world. No, thank you. I'm going to wait till they are adults um, and can successfully hope, you know, maintain their own lifestyles to the best of their abilities um of course mama daddy will always well we won't always be here but as long as i am best believe i'll bend over backwards for them you know so that is one of my fantasies fantasies to actually live in live in the rv when our when um the kids are all grown and gone now my husband he wants an rv for when we travel i don't know how committed he would be to actually living in one he he's one of those kinds that needs his space space like he needs to be able to go to the living room away for me and not hear me in another room and say vice versa i get like that too but it's just a i don't think it ever happened but I, i'm very curious about it this coffee is the bomb y'all i really want to get behind from behind this truck i hate driving behind trucks where i can't see over it just in case they make a sudden move i don't know if that's me or is there other people out there like that if you're like that let me know do you hate driving behind bigger vehicles or or trucks where you can't see in front of the truck because you want to be able to react just as swiftly as they would if a car stopped you know but i'm an overthinker y'all i think my medicine kicking in <laughs> i feel good <laughs> all right but yeah so check out um vibrant peace i love that name i think she called her subscribers uh the vibes or something like that but i love it love it love it <clears throat> check her out y'all and who else um so those are all the subscribers that i caught i um who else what else did, oh my affirmation for today y'all it is I am worthy of all blessings coming my way amen amen y'all i am worthy of all the blessings that are coming my way yes i, I am you are if you living right y'all doing what you're supposed to do handling your business because nobody is perfect remember this nobody is perfect so i'm not i'm not gonna get on here every day and state than I am. I'm not. I'm going through. I have stressors in my life. I I I, ha, I have a husband. I have kids. I have. We have a business. We trying to launch new things in our life. So I am not perfect by far. I have just as everybody else in marriage. We have our ups and downs and all of that. But nobody is perfect. But I am worthy. I am worthy of blessings, y'all. So are you guys. You just have to believe, have faith in it, for real. Um, it's a lot of stuff going on in the YouTube streets, you guys. And I refuse, I refuse for my channel to be um, condemned to negativity like all the, every day, all the time. We get comments that are just so rude. Um, 
my husband you know he goes through my comments and he actually comments to those who are just straight up blatantly out of line he 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 gets so you know i'm i'm his wife you know he gets pissed at the comments you know and he was the, he was the one who told me like you know kind of brush it off baby that it comes with the territory and it definitely does but what i wish you guys would definitely understand is yes i do my commentary on um other videos bloggers videos that's part of what i do on my channel but i have not forced anyone to say certain give out certain aspects of their lives um for me to react to this are this these are their decisions like someone in my comments said how ethical is it for you to i think her name was carol hi carol this is for you um how ethical is it for you to react to other youtubers um channels um and i'm trying to remember what i said i wasn't rude but i'm commentating um as to this is my reaction this is how i would feel because i can do that on my channel and i say this all the time i don't ever feel like i bash people um i'm not one to really i don't call people out their name um i think there's a way that you do everything and when i do my commentary been straight raw from the actual video like from um strong mommy chrissy video yesterday it was my commentary to her reaction and i think somebody had a problem with me saying um she's not getting her tubes tied that's if i want to react a certain way to that guess what i can and i did but the point is when are you gonna live when are you gonna actually get to live your life if you are constantly ha having kids and having to start over you know it's it's i said it before it's much more to this life than just having kids you want to be able to enjoy those children you want to be able to uh, and, and i'm coming from experience that's why i can't speak on it i have five kids um it would have been six but i had a miscarriage um and i only speak on that topic because i know how it feels to actually be stuck in the house with five toddlers the same going to work coming home feeding and i mean my kids are stair step 21 20 17 um 14 and 11 um so i know the pressures i know the wanting to get out and kick it with your friends but not being able to because you have five little people that you're responsible for i love it now because my kids are freaking amazing i love the ground they walk on i would do anything in the world for them but not only are they my kids i they're old enough now for me to have a relationship with them my girls are freaking amazing all the way down to 11 year old like i can hold a conversation um i'm i'm their mom i'm their best friend i'm their their provider uh they respect me you know what i'm saying but we have a a a great relationship um that i wish i had with my mom but my mom was always sick so we couldn't get up and go do things so i go the extra mile to do these things with my with my kids um but i say all of that because i know what it feels like to be responsible for five little people every single day getting up 5 30 in the morning combing hair getting i did this every day nobody left the house unpresentable I'm combing, bathing, combing hair every morning, dropping them off at my mom's house by 6 a.m., going to work, working sometimes 8 to 12 hours, coming home, picking them up, with, or my husband, coming home, cooking dinner, cleaning, washing, repeat, repeat, repeat. Do you know you lose friends along that way? Because you're so consumed by what's going on in your home that you don't have time for friendships. So when do these young ladies get to enjoy their lives? life is much more than just having babies girls ladies and let the ones that you have enjoy them love them and just start letting them grow you know what i'm saying um we no matter what we say on our videos we're still going to get somebody with the rude comments and that's fine i know it comes along with the territory um and i'm i'm, I'm getting a thick skin from it i'm okay with that keep doing what you're doing because miss true is gonna keep doing what she doing you know what i'm saying um another topic i wanted to talk about is we as a people waste money so much 
Um, I just bought a cup of coffee today, but y'all, you know, we're doing this six months, six months um, savings challenge. I have about a handful of people that have joined. They are wrote down. It ends in December, which is right on time for Christmas, y'all. Remember, check out that Digit app. It's not sponsored. I am not sponsored. Digit is an app that helps you save money. Um, my husband uses it. I use it. I think I started using it about two months ago. I have uh, Deanna Owens uses it. Um, it's in my description box. What it does is when you swipe your card, it takes that loose change from that transaction and put it into a rainy day fund for you or it puts it into a vacation fund for you and that money accumulates um i think when i and i always forget about it because i never think about that change so when it's put over there and i go look like a month later i already have like 201 saving and 200 and another savings you know so if you want to take advantage of that, go ahead and check out my description box. Um, it's called Digit. It's in my description box. And again, it's not sponsored. That's just something that I wanted to tell the true family about because I use it. I love it. I'm saving money and I don't know about it. Winning, you know. But subscriptions, you guys. How many of y'all out there got subscriptions and don't even remember, but you know you got this auto draft coming out every day. I had $30 come out of my account the other day for a subscription. I, I didn't even go look because I know I signed up for. I, I probably have 10, 10 subscriptions that I don't even remember I have. Especially when you're a YouTuber, you got, you got apps that you use that you pay for monthly. You guys sit down, go through and see what subscriptions you have and if, if they're still necessary. If you don't need them, cancel them. Cancel your subscription. Save yourself some money. You can easily be saving up to $500 a year just by canceling subscriptions that you don't use. You know, let's be more, let's let's work smarter, not harder, harder you know. Um, think positive, y'all. Positive things will happen. I, I am an advocate of that, that positive affirmation. I believe in it 100%. I definitely do. Um, since the day that I told, since the day that I read that affirmation the first day, it's been a blessing to me because I actually believe in what I say. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, go through your subscriptions. If you don't need them, cancel them, y'all. Cancel them. I'm sure if some of them out there, this man was playing, y'all, I found it on YouTube. This man was paying. Um, he had Sirius XM on a car that he sold for three years. It was just auto drafted out of his account. He never paid attention to it. So he was playing, paying for Sirius XM in somebody else's car. Now that has happened to me. I had Sirius XM in this car for a year without me paying for it because the previous owner was probably still paying for it. You know, small things like that. I love my true family y'all i do i appreciate you guys um with those comments when people come for me my you my my true family yesterday i had two true family members stand up to stand up for me because half of the time y'all i it's not worth my time to respond to negativity i don't feed into it most of the time so if you see me not responding it's just because i don't like i always say two tears in the bucket fuck them you know um but they took it upon themselves to respond and i love you guys for that i gotta go to go into work um i wish you guys have an amazing day this video long y'all you guys have an amazing day don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you and i appreciate you guys so much um miss true signing out y'all peace <laughs>